Hello my friends and welcome back. Today I'm going to share with you another plan with me and this one is using this kit. It's called Fabulous Fall. This one is by Tilly B Plans over on Etsy. You can find her shop there. I'll leave it linked below in case you haven't been there before and this kit is gorgeous. Look at those colors. The pinks and the yellows and, the, and it's called Fabulous Fall but it, honestly you could use this any time of year. You don't have to use it in the fall because look at those glorious colors. Wouldn't that look like absolutely gorgeous in the summertime? But I'm obviously using it in the fall because I love the colors and I love it actually inspired me to do like a funky functional I call it funky Christmas and it's like a functional bundle with um, some not so traditional Christmas colors because I just feel like a lot of the artwork this year for the fall and for um, winter Christmas time all of that are not really your traditional normal colors that you see during this time of year and even when I went on so sometimes I'll go and I will look up trending like what's the color palettes that are trending for 2020 2021 that kind of stuff and I was looking to see and it's not none of the, the the trending color palettes are what you would expect them to be for this time of year so this is very much um, in these colors are for the fall. This is just absolutely beautiful. She did a fantastic job as always everything lays down perfectly the paper cuts perfect um, If you're on the fence or if you've never ordered from Tilly B don't stress It's gonna be absolutely fantastic. You're gonna love it when you get it So as always a little bit of sticker surgery because Tilly B's kits much like all of our kits these days are standard vertical We don't do a whole lot of specific to any type of vertical planner We just do like a standard vertical that will fit any vertical size planner that you have that's got a one and a half inch wide box size and then you just do a little sticker surgery which you just saw me do there all you need for that is just a little exacto knife craft knife which everything that you want in a straight edge of some type and you can just kind of make things fit to where you need them to fit and then that way it makes it easier for shop owners because we don't have to spend so much time making so many different versions of the same kit and that way we can bring you more artwork and more things to choose from if we don't have to make so many versions of the same thing so that yeah there's a little insider information for you any sort of standard vertical kit out there as long as it says in the description description one and a half inch wide box size will fit so for this one I decided to do the artwork straight across the middle which can be a little challenging when you're not sure if everything all of your boxes are going to fit around it properly but I have faith I'm pretty sure that I can make it work no matter what but I decided to just do something a little bit different I'm, I've done them across the top across the bottom and then I did a, a layout in this planner which that plan with me will be coming up later but I use the TPC planner kit so I did make one because this is the TPC nation planner and it's the hybrid and I absolutely love it and so I made a kit that kind of is the way that a lot of the TPC nation people I think use this kit I mean this planner with each one of the boxes and then the dividers and all that and I tried it out using my Harry Potter kit and I'll, I'll upload that video later later in the week I guess um, I didn't like it I mean I don't like the way it looks to me because I'm a no white space planner and so that particular style of planning like that kit I made the kit and I have no problem with the kit it came out fine it worked fine everything laid down fine but that particular type of planning is not my type of planning so I probably won't ever use another one of my own TPC planner kits however if you like that kind of planning where it's more minimalistic and you don't need to put a box in every box and you just want to do like um, if you've ever seen Caitlin's videos um, she uses the TPC Nation style planners quite a lot in hers and she really doesn't use a lot of boxes she does basically just um, like the washi strips in the middle all those little lines that you see the little like radiated gray lines all the way down she's got a little piece of washi that goes over each and every one of those and I have those in my kit too so that you can cover them up and make them color coordinator whatever you want to do and then she does something with the sidebar where each row is its own category so like home family work that kind of stuff so it goes across instead of down so it's you're kind of turning your vertical planner into almost like a horizontal style planner if you get it which means you can't do this right here 
because this is kind of like you're you're jumping through all the lines and and I didn't like it so <laughs> I probably won't ever use it again but I love the vertical planners and I'll always make the vertical planner style stuff so it doesn't matter because I'll have it in the shop with the same artwork if people like that type of planning it'll be there for you but for me I'm going to stick with my vertical planner kits because I like doing this I love my stickers. This is like the best therapy ever for just to relax and unwind and just throw down some stickers. And yeah, I am doing it. That's why I do the voiceover is because I take my time. Sometimes the phone rings, there's a bunch of noise going on, all kinds of stuff going on while I'm doing this with the camera on. And then I can speed it up a little bit so you don't have to sit through. Each one of these little stickering sessions takes about 30 minutes. So it's about 30 minutes worth of video that I will squish down into about 10 minutes and then just talk to you for 10 minutes while I'm putting the stickers down so you can see the fabulous kit, give you any updates that I have. And that's pretty much the way the plan with me is going to go. I was thinking about doing something a little bit different in October where I just kind of do this but a little bit quicker and then maybe do once a month. Not every time because I think every time you probably wouldn't watch them all because I don't have that much to talk about but at least once a month take one of my favorite spreads and actually do the plan with me. So plan out the entire week with you and show you what I put in here, where everything goes, how I lay it out, using all of the different little icons that I have, all of the little character stickers from the shops and that kind of stuff. So I thinking about doing that. I'm still kind of on the fence because I'm not sure um, how long it would take for me to do it because I usually plan out day by day. I sit down, so my, my routine is I wake up before, especially on a work day, I'll wake up, I'll grab my cup of coffee, and then I go sit down at my desk, and I pull out my pen, and I have all of my little sticker books around me with all my stuff, and I just sit down and I plan out the day. So I'll write down everything that I need to do that day, everything, if it's a work day, I just write down the stuff, like if I'm taking something with me, like if I need to take my laptop, if I need to do laundry, whatever, and I'll write it down in there. And I have all my little icons and my little character stickers for that in my home planner. And then um, once I'm done with the day, then I'll go goofing around and finish getting ready and then go to work because I work nights. But so I'm not really sure how I would do it because I would have to like plan out the entire week ahead or I could back plan. I could back plan a week and then show you all of the stuff by back planning the week. So I don't know. We'll see. I'll work it out. I will figure it out. So for this week, this is after TPC sale. I've got all my orders are out. I'm just looking at the finished product here to make sure. Oh, I know what happened. I On Monday, I went to Target and I bought a new shelf unit. So now I have my shop is looking more professional every day. So I have another shelf unit up because I now have five cutting machines and I need space for them. So I have to kind of stack them. It's like bunk, it's like a triple bunk bed. And they're sitting on top of a giant shelf unit with like, how many drawers does that thing have? Two, four, six, eight, ten, twenty, ten. It has 30 drawers in it. So there's 30 drawers in the cabinet that these shelves are sitting on top of. And so, yeah, I have storage space and it's nice. I like it. Someday when I actually have a shop space of my own and I'm not like hanging out in the living room, but the rest, that's not a living room. It's a gigantic room. It's a family room. And I've got like the back quarter of it. Um, but my plan is, is to make my own shop area outside. We have a whole big yard on the side. I've probably told you this before, but I'm going to have a big old shed built over there and have it heated and electricity and all the good things over there. And that is where my shop is going to go. So it'll have a space of its own and I will most definitely be doing a tour of it when it's done and put it up here on the video because I love looking at those things. I don't know if you guys do, but I love like when people do the shed redos and the she sheds and all that kind of stuff. And I just think they're so fascinating. And now the new thing is to Airbnb. So you can turn sheds into like uh, your own personal Airbnb. If you've got like a piece of property or you've got like a big yard and you want to put it off to its side and they make it look so nice. And there's a ton of videos out there that show you like the finished product. So 
I don't want an Airbnb. I just want a nice shop. So I'm going to put a giant shed over there and that's what I'm going to do with it. So this is everything that I have left over. I've got enough to do a daily spread, which I will be doing with the leftovers. And this is it. Thanks guys so, so much for stopping by. I really, really appreciate it. I hope you enjoy this kit. Remember that the links will be down at the bottom. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Go ahead and subscribe. I'm working towards 10,000. And once I get there, I will do a giveaway. And yeah, so you guys have a fab fantastic I can talk week and I will see you again soon. Bye-bye.